Next up, I want the Lua structure for BRCN. So as usual, check out my valence electrons. Um, so from BR, I have 7 plus 4 plus 5. And this will give me a total of 16 electrons to mess around with. I will have carbon as my central atom, which means I will attach the bromine to the other side and the nitrogen. I can fill in the bromine's octets, in fact, fill in everybody's and see if I have the correct number of electrons. This would imply 6 by 2 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12 plus 8, which is 20 electrons. So obviously, I have too many electrons. Bromine, I know, is in group 7 and group, sorry, group 17. And group 17 have 7 valence electrons. So this configuration is best for it because it's minimized its formal charge, 6 in the lone pairs, 1 in the bonding pair. So I wouldn't necessarily like to mess around with the bromine. And instead, I'm going to focus on this carbon and the nitrogen. And so as usual, I'll start fixing things by adding a double bond and seeing if things now work out. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So again, too many electrons. Remember, don't touch the bromine because its formal charge has been minimized. And so and again, I will add another bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. This actually makes the most sense. Nitrogen tends to like three bonds so that you can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 minus 5, 0. And carbon likes it like 4. And so you can get 4 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, giving you a 0, 2. And so this would be our best structure. If you'd like to double check the formal charges, you'll see bromine as expected will have seven valence electrons minus the six in lone pairs minus the one in the bonding pair, giving you a formal charge of zero. Carbon will have four minus the four electrons in bonding pairs yielding zero. Nitrogen will have five minus the three in bonding pairs minus the two in lone pairs, giving you zero. So formal charges have been minimized, valence electrons have been minimized, so they all have a charge of zero on them, and this will be your final structure.